Meanwhile, as the search continues for Brian, a Louisiana man claims he had a strange encounter with an angry Brian Laundry. he thinks, just days before her disappearance. Hunter Manis joins us now to describe what happened. Hunter, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm doing okay. So what were you doing at Bullwinkles in West Yellowstone? Let's see, when was that? That was August 26th. August 26th, that was correct. A uh, friend and I were uh, just traveling more or less around the country. Uh, we had gone uh, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, and uh, we had toured the Tetons and uh, also Yellowstone okay. and went out Westgate, and we stopped in West Yellowstone, Montana for the night, gotcha. uh, which is how we get the restaurant. All right, so you're there and you're having a nice conversation with your friend and there's a guy over at the bar and he just seems angry at the world. Uh, he was. We we had actually eaten dinner uh, earlier in the restaurant and then we moved into the bar for a drink. And uh, when we got in, there was a couple we had met earlier in the restaurant. And then uh, there was a guy uh, by himself at the end of the bar. And we really didn't pay him much attention until he got kind of he, he just seemed overly invested in our conversation and uh, eventually ended up speaking up, which is what made us notice. Uh, but again, I mean, we didn't know any of this was going on. It was just, I mean, and at the time there wasn't right. anything going on. Right. Uh, we just, uh, it was an odd encounter. He, he was, made us all extremely uncomfortable. Sure, and at one point, um, I, I understand uh, there was a little dialogue and he said his name was uh, Brian. And you Correct. say he looks just like him, and your friends from the bar that night are 100% sure it was him. But didn't he say something about Southerners and complained about y'all? Uh, he did. Uh, he he was kind of overhearing our conversation, uh, which had to do with hunting and uh, uh, some other things. And then it got political, which obviously you, you try to avoid in a bar, but you know, there were few, very few people in there, us and another couple and him and the couple of bartenders. So right. uh, my friends were carrying on a conversation and he uh, just kind of abruptly jumped into it with a comment uh, about stupid Southerners and some expletives uh, about Republicans. And uh, that's what made us draw notice. And real quickly, before you go, has law enforcement talked to you? Yes, we, okay. uh, on the 6th, when we realized, uh, I believe it was the 16th, uh, when my friend and I both realized that it was without a question of a doubt him, uh, I contacted the FBI. Uh, I did a, a roughly 45, 50 minute interview. Uh, my friend also contacted the FBI and filed a report as well to attach to mine. Okay. And also another lady, a, uh, a doctor that we met that was part of the other couple in the bar. Uh, I believe she also uh, okay. filed a report. Well. All right, all part of the record now. Hunter Mann is joining us today from Mansfield in Louisiana. Sir, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.